Get ready for an exciting segment today. I'm Melissa Miller, your host of American Dream TV, where we cover the lifestyle, the culture, and all things real estate for all of Southeast Florida. This is the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Not just the show, but the Super Yacht Village, where we explore beautiful, luxurious yachts from all around the world. The Fort Lauderdale Boat Show has over 52 countries, spanning over 90 acres, and there's so much to explore from super luxurious yachts to sunglasses and everything in between. So let's explore this beautiful event. This is why we live in paradise. So we are here with Marta from Triton Submarine. And this is really exciting to learn a little bit about the aquatics. Marta, can you tell me a little bit about your company and what you offer? So we are a submarine company, as you said, and we build um, submarines, we train pilots. We have a lot of different um, models, different subs that can reach different depths. Mm -hmm. We are not only exploring the ocean bottom because we can reach the deepest point in our ocean. So we have the, the sub that, that surpassed all the world wow. records. Okay. So we are intended for ocean exploration, but we sell tourist subs for um, pleasure. So, I mean, we have Wonderful. like everything. And how are people typically storing these? They have they, to store it in a marina? No, they can okay. store the sub on board the vessel in oh, okay. a garage. Oh, okay. And you do the launch and the recovery with the crane that the yacht or the ship vessel um, has. Okay. Yes. And to give me an idea of price range for okay. these. <laughs> so depending on the sub and the depth, it's between 4 million or 16 million, it depends. So the best of the best is around 16 million. Yeah, I mean, if you want to carry 24 passengers, ah. it's a big sub, okay. but it only reaches 100 meters, but it's okay. a big sub. Okay. But for example, the deepest one that has a lot of um, powerful um, equipment, okay. um, it's around, yeah, 15 million, like this, yeah, depending. And for going into the depths of the ocean, this model is rather luxurious. Is it yes. customizable? If someone's yes. purchasing, they're able to customize yes. it. Tell me a little bit about the customization so on these. This one is our standard model. Mm -hmm. We have built 10 of them. It's the 3K3 model and it reaches the thousand, thousand meters there. Mm -hmm. You can just buy it like this or if you want to film something mm -hmm. or you want to do science, you can just add scientific equipment, okay. cameras, manipulator arms, science kits, whatever. Okay. So you, I mean, when you buy the sub, mm -hmm. you choose, during the contract, you choose the equipment that you want. So as you can see, this show isn't just about yachts. It's also about other aquatics, such as this beautiful Triton submarine. And I want to thank Marta for sharing with us today. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we are here with Giorgio from Next Yacht Group. And Giorgio, thanks for being here. Could my you pleasure. tell us a little bit about your brand and where you're based? Yes, of course, my pleasure. So uh, Nextyot Group is an Italian shipyard. We are based in Tuscany, uh, in the Versilia region, actually, in between uh, Viareggio, Massa and Massa Rosa, where we have different production plants. Nextyot Group owns two historical brands with uh, more than 50 years in the shipyard uh, sector, and namely Maiora and uh, ABOX. My Wonderful. Yes, so I see this beautiful yacht, Lady Nina. What makes this one so special? Lady Nina is special, especially for uh, the US market because of uh, her shallow draft. 
and uh, water jet propulsion that makes Ledinina very, very uh, perfect to uh, navigate into the Bahamas or Exuma. is why we live in beautiful Southeast Florida. The luxury, the lifestyle, and we're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It was great getting to understand the different brands from the different countries all over the world. And now we're gonna be heading to Bay Harbor to explore the delicious Mr. O1 Extraordinary Pizza. So let's explore. Right here in the prestigious Bay Harbor area of Miami, and I'm in front of the newest location here in Bay Harbor for the Mr. O One Extraordinary Pizza. And we are thrilled to have you listen in to an interview that I'm going to have with Chef Renato Viola about his journey here to America to achieve the American dream. Have with us today world-renowned chef Renato Viola. So glad to have you here to have this conversation Thank about you. this beautiful restaurant. This is a new location. Is yes, it? we opened this location last Tuesday. Okay. And thank you so much to be here. In awesome. Our house. So let's start with your journey, your culinary journey. Where did it start? So I'm from Italy, mm -hmm. South Italy, mm -hmm. and you have to know that. Uh, we grew up mm -hmm. in the kitchen yes. with our uh, mom, father. So we spend all the time in the kitchen. We yes. eat in the kitchen, we play in the kitchen, we yes. study in the kitchen. Yeah. And it's a big deal, the kitchen mm -hmm. for us, you know, cooking. Right. Right. And my mom always, uh, always remember me that every Sunday she wake up mm -hmm. at three, four in the morning, mm -hmm. bread, lasagna, pasta, wow. meatball. And I was fed up with her, mm -hmm. you know, when I was four. Right. And she told me one, one, uh, one morning, she started to make the dough. Mm -hmm. And I was completely in love making dough. That I obligated her at least for another four, five Sundays wow. to do pizza. Wow. And she always was telling me that this may be have the passion of pizza. You know? Right. So she saw the creative ability from when you were very young. She put me there at four in the morning, all the rest of the family sleeping, me and my mom making the dough. I remember, I don't remember, I was mm -hmm. very young, I was four, five, you know, right. and, but it was a good time. And the journey continued from there. Did you go to culinary school? I got to the college, mm -hmm. to high school college mm -hmm. here, to make happy my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that it's always important to have an education in your mm -hmm. life. And in the meantime, I was also uh, working with best master pizza chef. Mm -hmm. And when I finished the school, I started to do culinary school class, uh, mm -hmm. master to improve uh, the skill mm -hmm. to be different right. in this job. So I heard that there are a lot of stories about the name Mr. O One Extraordinary Pizza. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we are. Uh, the beginning, all immigrants when you come here, so we have to apply for a visa mm -hmm. to work in the United States. Right. So I go to my uh, immigration uh, lawyer mm -hmm. and uh, he saw my background, my curriculum. I was working also in Italy with TV, with school. I said, you know what, chef? It's going to be very difficult. I never heard, but let's try to apply for the all one visa for pizza maker. And 
and after five months they gave me the O1 visa. Mm -hmm. That is for extraordinary ability. Mm -hmm. So suppose for United States be extraordinary in the pizza. Ah. In, uh, and we opened our first location, we call that Visa One, the mm -hmm. visa. But after two years, when we opened the second one, mm -hmm. a big, big company mm -hmm. uh, recommended us to change the name because it was too similar. Oh, okay. And we changed with Mr. O. And so the other thing that is so important that I'm sure you and your family must be proud that you're actually Michelin uh, recommended. So what did that mean to you to get that recommendation? Well, it's, it's amazing because the, the restaurant, the location that we receive it, it's the first one, mm. it's in 6080 Michigan Avenue and it's literally in an office building without sign, with just nine tables and you have to, you have to find that. And that's yeah. located? In, in South Beach. Oh, in yeah. South Beach, okay. okay. But literally with no sign, you can see on the street, you have to go in the office, wow. behind <laughs> you know the wall and... Uh, A hidden very, very, gem. Yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. So what did it mean to you once you heard that you had that recommendation? What, what did that feel like emotionally? Honestly, very well. Mm -hmm. But for me, still today, when you saw a guest give me the first bite to the pizza, yes. and you see their smile or their eyes, means more than any other, uh, you know, war, award yes. or... Anything else. Anything else. Did you have experience in Italy opening restaurants? Yeah, I collaborated with three, with three restaurants. Mm -hmm. And before uh, coming here in the state, I was already working in Europe with consulting and uh, okay. be part of some pizzeria, you know. Wonderful. Okay, well, what made you think about going to America and opening a restaurant? The dream. The dream. America is the dream. And yes. honestly, I believe that it's true. Mm -hmm. United States is an amazing country. Mm -hmm. If you work hard, yes. it's your dream. I feel very uh, lucky and proud to, to live and be part now of the United States. Watching, and as always, your dreams can guide you to your own version of the American dream. I'm Melissa Miller of EXP Realty signing off for this episode of American Dream TV.